Hello you all. So for this look, there's a few materials that you are going to need. You're going to need a fabric, of course. Um, I suggest using stretch or, or some type of knit fabric. Um, you're going to need a skirt or a skirt pattern. Scissors, tailor chalk, and thread. I suggest using stretch thread. I have some available on my Amazon store, so I'll leave that link down below for you guys. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, to support me here as a creator on YouTube so I can continue making awesome content for you guys, I have some awesome content on my website as well as some ebooks that will help you if you're trying to get started in running your own line or you just want to advance your sewing ability. Go ahead and check that out. The link will be down below. So to get started on this tutorial, I'm using this awesome fabric from LA Fashion District in downtown LA. And I also have a skirt that I am going to use as my pattern for this look. And this skirt stretches and it also includes a waistband. And I also have my scissors so I can start cutting. So your next step is you want to fold your fabric in half. And what I did is I folded two pieces in half and I pinned them together. Because what I'm going to do is take my skirt, place it on the fold, and cut out two pieces at once so one for the front and one for the back you want to make sure you place that waistband above the fabric and at the bottom I made adjustments because I want it to be a little bit shorter and you also want to make sure when you cut out that you add seam allowance as well so when you cut it out you should have two pieces and then we're just going to put right sides together and then you want to take your pins and pin them along the edge on both sides and when you're done it should look like this and it should be pinned all the way to the bottom next we want to work on our waistband so I have my tailor chalk here and I am just measuring everything out so you want to make sure that you add seam allowance on the side as well as the bottom so I think I did about I want to say like three inches for the waistband as far as the width because I believe I did change it after cutting it out and you want to make sure you cut four pieces for the waistband you're gonna need four pieces and then you want to make sure you pin the edges down just like I am doing right now next we want to measure out the straps so at first I did about 30 inches for the strap so I folded my fabric in half and marked 15 because when you open it and it's on the fold um, it's going to be 30 so that was actually a little too long for me so I end up changing it to about 20. So you should have two pieces for your straps and you're going to fold it in half and pin it along the edge. The length and the width of the straps depend on how long and why you want it. You also want to make sure you pin the bottom of your dress all the way around because you need to hem it. So I'm just sewing everything together before I start attaching everything. So after you sewed it, it should look like this and you can see the bottom of my skirt is hemmed as well. So this is the waistband and the straps that are part of my suspenders. And so I have pinned them um, on one side already and now I'm going to pin it to the back of that waistband. So this is what you should be doing. And then what we're going to do is take our second piece. So remember I said we had to cut out four pieces for the waistband. So we're going to put that other piece on top of that and make sure that the seams on the side are lined up. So you want to pin those seams together first before you start pinning all the way around because if it doesn't match, that means it's not going to fit correctly. So just pin all the way around and you just want to sew that all the way around at the top. And then once you sew that, you want to pin it all the way around to the dress and then sew it all the way down and it should look just like this you guys and also I'm going to have a pictorial for this so if you guys want to print out the instructions um, make sure you visit my website at fashionlife.com the link will be down below but that is it for this tutorial it's super easy super simple and very fashionable and cute to make for the fall season so make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you are not already part of the team here and if you have any video suggestions feel free to leave them down in the comment area below and I'll see you next week for a new video bye